Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I will continue with the part 3 uh, of the lighting design for the indoor parking. If you did not see the first part and the second part, um, you will find a link to, to those videos. Uh, have a look before uh, checking uh, the third part which will be focused on the, on the lighting fixtures, uh, which luminaire we will use related to the luminous flux distribution and um, what will be the, the outcome of, of the lighting calculation and also very important the position of these of the luminaires um, from the last video I just add um, more cars just to have a, a proper let's say lighting simulation for the solution and let's dive now in choosing the luminaires, in the last video you have seen that I choose a luminaire for this manufacturer. So you just need to install the product select if you did not do that. And there you just go on the waterproof and clean room. You select the luminaire from this field, you need some time to upload. And then you have even a um, dedicated, let's say, luminaire for the they call it green parking so i choose to go with um, 1600 millimeters length of the luminaire and then very wide beam and i choose the output of 6400 uh, lumen as you can see it here which has also a power consumption of 46.5 you just need to add the luminaire in your database i did it already so as you can see here this is the luminaire and then i will just uh, start uh, mounting the luminaire i will just use the i will mount the luminaire parallel with the uh, with the lines with the uh, traffic road so for example this one will be the First, we have a number of 10 luminaires. Um, mounting height 2.5 as is the height. One important criteria is the that the luminaire to not uh, be on the on the column near the column. That's one of my criteria. This one looks okay, and I would just go with the same arrangement as I said, parallel with um, with the driving lines. To the parking lot and I will just install for this for this line four rows so this was the second one I will go with the third one let's see how it goes so the length will be until here try to be symmetric with the, the other lines here and then on the bottom we'll just go here with the first line at least for the this part of the parking i try to as as i said early to have symmetrical lines so here we have the four lanes already installed now you can see it even better so these are the luminaires so in this way we should obtain the 75 uh, lux requirement of for the cars and here again i will go parallel uh, with uh, driving lanes so here i will just yeah go a little bit forward let's say on the entrance of the parking to have enough i just check once again yeah this one for example it's not the best place it's just going on the wrong and also the line the arrangement is not straight so yeah it should be like this and then try to go a little bit above yeah this should be better and now in the middle i will position again same arrangement top down 
here of course I think we will need less luminaires and we need also to have a little bit of distance from the from the poles oh sorry columns let's let's choose let's say instead of 10 I'll place 8 yeah this should do it and then last one last lane I will choose parallel same same way parallel with the driving lines to the parking I try to be similar with the this line from the from the left area and then move it up so let's see on the 3d how it looks the arrangement of the of the luminaires yeah so at this area we have three lines and on this area we have two. i think also we will need actually on back on the back here for example we don't have any any lights so i would it will be a small let's say row of, of lighting luminaires in this case let's say five that should be enough i'll try to move it a little bit up this luminaire to not be in the same on the row yeah near the pole and uh, let's have a quick over overlook on this solution let's see if we can we can meet the 75 um uh, lux level requested for the indoor parking if not i will need to, to install um yeah more luminaires so we are on 80.1 um the lux level so that's more than 75 so we are perfect we what uh, what we need to to achieve in this case so that's a good solution uh, let's see on the 3d how the lights are looking or the lighting solution it looks in for the this indoor parking and if we move also to false colors just to have a better overview let's see on the on the middle lane i think here we have 102 so the driving area of the of the cars before they enter the parking lot so that's very good from my point of view and the parking lot in the end beginning of that's 87 then on the back yeah 34. so overall i said that this will be a solution of course maybe we can do also in the middle it can be a, a low luminous but this is more uh, often use you know from the both sides on the entries to the left part of the parking lot on the right as well so in this case uh, we have achieved the requirements of 75 and also i just place a couple of cars into the parking lot just to be more close to the A real example of uh, of indoor parking. In the next video, I want to show you also um, a video which I made with um, realize parking, a similar solution. So, if you did not subscribe to my channel, please do so. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video if you find it interesting. Have a good day. Bye bye.